When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Jab pulled by the straight by Mike Tyson. Well, we're just underway here, and you can already sense the type of fight we're going to have. These are two guys that have flat out said it. They have come to get the other man. And they're not liars. Parries that punch intended for the head. Tyson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Very nice defensive guard there. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Mike Tyson's advantage is in the speed category. He's a mover. He's an elusive target. Well, his opponent has one advantage. One thing that can take that speed away, that is timing. He better understand that. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punch. Solid left hand. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forwards. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Good smooth work by Mike Tyson. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. This round comes to an end here. Joe Tessitore sitting ringside, as always, with Teddy Atlas. Love coming to this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town, with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. You know, the fighters that we see that have very, yeah, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They, they these, do! <laughs> they, these guys... They don't real. have the reach. No, they, they can't don't. reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table, but great guys. Nice work, great technique, the combo lands. A good block by Mike Tyson. Tyson's opponent knows exactly what the game plan will be now. That counter punch landed with some success. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. and digs deep with a big uppercut. Double jab by Mike Tyson. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. And round number three is underway. There's the combo downstairs. Effective work with that flush overhand right. A little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Blocks that belt line well.
Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Halfway through this round. Good combination to the body. Mike Tyson's being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Yeah. <laughs> right back to it upstairs. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Right hand followed by a very well-placed left hook to the body. We got it. You don't need that. First chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here as round number four is underway. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Mike Tyson staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean. He's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Now he's targeting upstairs. Good strong combo. Able to place the right hand in there. Looks to the head. A little head hunting with the right. Committing to the combo now, both land. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Right hand downstairs. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. All right, what's the answer here, Teddy? I mean, time and time again, he is getting hit with headshots by that right hand. The answer is not going to help him. The answer is to go back to the gym and be taught properly how to get away from that punch. Probably too late now. Well, he's got the attitude. Something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Oh! Ruined in one instance. Just done. Fight over.
by knockout. Good solid end to this fight. Mike Tyson's power was the difference. One punch, one knockout victory. The power and the timing. He delivered that punch right on the button. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tess.